making the place where where the artillery train will uh, refuel or whatever. Why? Why? Who? Who, who made this robot port in the way? Fuckers. We'll just do something like that. Um, so this is where I mean we're like we're literally automating the death of biters. So you know, uh, it really doesn't get any more hardcore than that. Let's be honest. Uh, all right, so we have that. We're gonna make a train stop. Probably gonna do the same system of like well, it could be a pulled train. I don't care. It, that, that like this this is semantics at this point. Actually, no, it should be a push train because what if I wanted to go here? So I'm going to say two artillery turrets, uh, two artillery turrets, and then, yeah. Uh, is there like a, oh yeah, there is this train. I can make it go to rock to, um, to refuel. So that, that's pretty easy. Easy, easy, easy. All right, so um, I don't know what color to make this, actually. Um, maybe purple, which is definitely the color of death. So uh, yeah, that's how that's going to work. Um, so... The artillery trains, I think, will be very simple. Uh, I think, cause I think we're just gonna have two two cargo trains with um, artillery turrets. Uh, I wish I could have one box kind of filling in two, but I actually can't do that. So, uh, well, instead, I'll just do something like this. So that's where the that's where the train will unload its stuff. All right, and then so we're gonna have to hook up something like this guy. So this is gonna eventually be the good stuff. Uh, actually, the good stuff should go slightly further down. They'll use a long arm insert to put it onto this belt. Fuck. Do it like that. Because I forgot I have to also feed it radar dishes and stuff, so... Which is a really odd thing to have to give it an entire radar dish, but, you know... And I don't know, it's a way of arbitrarily making things cost more, I guess. It's a pretty cool technology, I have to say. So we're trying to make now explosive cannon shells. Uh, where are explosive cannon shells? Uh, okay, so this is gonna hook it. Plastic bars, man. That's some petroleum and steel plates and stuff. All right. Luckily, we have a lot of that. Yeah, it's just a whole lot of trash that we need. We don't actually have a plastic bar line, but we do have a coal line, and coal is what's actually needed here. We don't actually need much else. Uh, well, we need the steel too, obviously. I probably should start red belting this actually over. I don't know if we actually have the capacity for it. Like I started a red belt here and then at some point I got lazy. So I'm just gonna make sure it's red belted. In case that is a supply issue because we're gonna all of a sudden start using more steel. I hope that the steel requirements aren't that high for this but they might be actually. All right, that should be good enough. The rest, the rest can be yellow belted. All right, so I think this is the only thing that actually needs um, steel. Plastic is just petroleum and coal. Uh, anything else here? Oh, radar dishes. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a little bit more than I bargained on, but that's okay. That's easy. That's e oh, it's like right here, actually. I, I, can, I can even like just like ferry over the... Um, yeah, I could I could just bring over the stuff on its own belt, actually. So you're gonna make greater dishes, son. Uh, what does this need? A lot of a lot of iron plates. Well, only one thing to do: two stack inserters. This is what this is what it takes to make freedom, guys.
shit. Luckily, it's very fast. Alright, so it's just going to be something like that. Very simple. Alright, what else does this need on uh, on this? So it just needs a crap ton of explosives as well, which uh, it's not hard to make as well, fortunately enough. Um, I'm just going to probably have a... Where is it going? Okay, good. So this is going to be the explosive line right here. Oops. All right, start making boom booms. All right, what do boom booms need? Sulfur. All right, so every five seconds it needs two sulfur, and sulfur is made from water and petroleum gas, and every it makes two every one second. So uh, one sulfur can support um, one, one, sorry, one sulfur making facility can support five explosive making facilities, which all need coal and water. Uh, and we need to bring petroleum gas here somehow. So uh, that shouldn't be too difficult. We just pipe one over and then we make uh, a couple of, uh, probably all of these actually. Because I may actually need two sides, I don't know. But like, if it gets to that point, we just copy and paste it. So I had petroleum down here somewhere, so I may actually just decide to pipe that over. Because that actually seems like the easiest thing to do. I like easy. Luckily, because we run it now super speed, um, it's now even easier to, to pipe things over like this. At this point, if I die to trains, it was just fate. Fuck, seriously? Man. Player inventory is full. Like, this thing's in the way. Oh, oh my god. Fuck. Cannot insert chemical plant. Player inventory is full. What do I have on me? Oh, because I still have all the nuclear reactor stuff. How do I get rid of some of this stuff? Probably just by going down here and just feeding a bunch of my iron place to shit over here. Good enough. Alright. Holy shit, the pipes. And the pipes were meant for the nuclear reactors once again, so... Probably should just empty them out somewhere, but... Uh, whatever. I'm too fast for that. You gotta go fast. Alright. So we're doing this. Oops. Apparently I just got knocked out of the way by like that rock. Fuck. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Alright, so basically brought over petroleum. Water's pretty easy to bring over though. Water just comes from like down there somewhere. It can go beside the bus. I don't mind that. Alright, so... Things we do for shooting things. We gotta bring over the freedom, man. Alright, and then... Just kind of make it shimmy across, I guess. Uh, or maybe not. Guess, guess we'll have it come like an extra step above. I think we don't really need that concrete anymore, I think. What the fuck? I actually ran out of pipes. Luckily, going down there is just a matter of a couple seconds. Oh my god, I am, I, by, by the way guys, I'm so looking forward to artillery trains, oh my god. This is, this has actually been the number one thing, like, I've wanted to try out in version 16. All my death world runs have come, come up to, come up to this. Cause then you know I can do, I can start clearing things out, I don't have to clear them out myself, I just bring a train up there and just kills all the biters and that's it. So we have to automate their death. That's how much I hate them. All right, we hate them because they're different. Remember that. All right, so let's bring the, um, the coal over now. All 
right. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do something ever funky with this, but yeah. Uh. So we need a lot of coal. Um, and we need a lot of water and we need a lot of everything. So let's just get the f one side of this going. Yeah, that, okay, that's a lot of radars. So we're not we're not really short on radars now. Um, how much explosives is this actually? Is it two? Yeah, it's two times explosives. Nice. All right. So I mean, we'll we'll see in the end like how much this actually needed. So making so this actually needs water for some reason. I don't know why you need water for explosives, but I mean we won't question that. And it's gonna be sulfur like right here. Which means uh, we need more water. We need more water, so we can have one more machine. One more machine do this. Actually, this actually works out perfectly. So there you go. So we just have to have water going to all of these stations. Um, we have a nice fast inserter somewhere, or fast unloader. I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna do this, but. Probably, probably easiest just to do something like this, where it kind of goes in and out. So most of them are gonna just fill it in from the other side, but what we'll do is once it gets to like over here, it'll kind of balance it to both sides. Um, this way, this way, it just makes sure that it's always saturated. It unfortunately also needs a ton of coal. I did not think about that. It takes five seconds anyway, so actually I should have took, taken that into account anyways. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just delete this all. It was a good concept when I started it, I assure you. But it's still a good concept even now. Because I forgot that it needs to actually bring coal with it, so... This is just kind of what what's needed for this. What is this, what is what does sulfur need? Yeah, good, thank God it doesn't need like iron or something. I would have to bring that over here too. All right, so I haven't quite decided. Actually, this could just be yellow belt. Probably a smarter way of doing this, such as like, you know, red belting it right here instead. But we're not smart people necessarily. I mean, we're, we are just making a ton of explosives, so it's probably not the smartest thing to do. But then again, on Death World, Death World makes you do crazy things. Alright. Alright, we're almost good with this. Uh, all right, so I need to figure out a way to bring this over here. Probably just do this. Now we can balance it out. All right, and it's also gonna have to be split onto the other line, which did I, oh, oh, I already did that. Okay, I'm a fucking genius. Um, all right, so bring it on with, actually we can just do this really simple. So I'm gonna bring in pipes like such. That's how it gets its water. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually how explosives are ma made, but I don't really know. And I don't really care to know, because I'm pretty sure that wanting to know information like that puts you on some sort of FBI watch list, so. Um, so we'll just pretend like this is, this is all realistic. And it probably is, the developers are always very, um, they're very good about this kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, even the nuclear stuff is pretty good. 
Man. Maybe playing this game does actually put you on some watch lists. I'm just, I'm just saying. There we go. Alright, petroleum, where are you at? There you are. Alright, so... Yeah, we'll just hook up these. You go in there. I'm not sure how much we need in terms of sulfur. How much sulfur does it need for each one? Like two? Yeah, like regular inserters will work just perfectly fine for this. I am zoomed in way too far. All right. So this should now make explosives. And we need to actually hook it into here. So is it working? Yes, yeah, this, this is going at a pretty good speed. That is explosives. All right, not too shabby, not too shabby. And what else does this need now? Um, is that it? I oh, know we need plastic bars and we need uh, steel plates. So how many plastic bars? It needs like four plastic bars per eight seconds. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, just bring the steel plates over first and we'll decide if it needs to change at all. Yeah. Oh. All right. And then we now go bring it over through here. Like I said, if uh, if we need more we need more stuff for plastics or whatever, uh, we'll have a pretty good way of doing it. This is like a whole lot of like chemicals. I, I just realized. That's what this mostly is right now. So we make two plastic bars every second. Like, I don't know, two machines for this stuff? I don't I don't know. I, 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 I don't really care. I, I did ratios at some other point in this game, and now, now I just don't care. All right. <laughs> All right, so now we need to bring over... We need to bring over some coal. So this is pretty simple stuff. Um, we even have the machine right here for it too. There you go. Just magically just works out just like that. All right, and then kind of brings in the, how much coal does it need? It needs just one unit for two plastic bars, all right. Pretty simple, actually I'll put it in the middle just so it's uh, actually in the center of this stuff. I don't know if it actually needs as much plastic, but call it what you will. All right. And last but not least, we start bringing things into these machines. It's very much a not least situation. Artillery is almost done. It's I, I, I just literally just almost finished it here. It's crazy. All right, there you go. So now we're making cannon shells, I think. There you go. I actually think the I think it needs blue inserters actually. How's my power doing? Oh, probably not going to do a whole lot better now that I'm doing this, but you know, it's kind of how we work. All right, and then so what I will do with this cannon shells, we'll put it into these carriages and then eventually onto the train. So that's how that's gonna work. <laughs> it's the death. It's the death train. Like literally, de maybe I should make this one powered by wood. Just saying, because it's like it's, that's the most death trains I've ever I've ever seen in my life. But I think that's pretty good for explosives. I, I don't know. You guys want to see a tank? Fine, we'll make a tank too. Actually, no. The artillery wagons are almost done. Let's just get all the materials we need for that. Actually. 
I don't know why, like, something like lobbing artillery shells is such a high requirement, but I think it's just for balance, so I, that's, uh, I just answered my own question. All right, so what else do we need? Artillery wagons, uh, some circuits, just a lot of engine units. Which we have a lot over here. I guess I should make also a, a train for it. So purple is definitely the color of death, I'm just saying. If I, if I wanted to have a color for death, it would definitely be purple. All right. All right, there you go. And let's get some solid fuel for it as well. Uh, right here. Don't worry. We are automating this stuff, man. Like it is, it is gonna be automated. I'm just gonna, I'm, just, I'm basically just gonna put it on like the farthest reaches of every outpost. But I'm probably gonna clear in the upper direction first, so I'll just have it stop at like, maybe like right here, this stop. And I know you can use inactivity timers for it, so purple is the death trains. This is uh, this is what we've been shooting for. Okay, is there some reason that it's slow now? I mean, I guess the blue chips aren't going that fast anymore. Okay, you know what? You know what? I didn't even look at my productivity modules as of yet, as of late. Holy shit! All right, no, you're done. You're all done. It's done. Like, that's it. We don't need any more of this this stuff. Fuck, I have like a ton of them now. Fuck, just take put it in here. I, I just realized I never stopped this. At no point did I ever stop this, and uh, that's maybe not the best idea, because I actually don't use any more of it. Uh, yeah, just put them all in there. There you go, we got four left, and I'll just put that into, I don't know, a fucking one of the blue chip machines. All done. All right. That's what's that's what's eating the blue chips right now. It's that stuff. I mean, it almost makes it to that. It would be nice to productivity module the rest of those actually, like just to get them all going down. I don't know. And now I just slowed down my military science. So, go figure. But it's it's all because it's not making turrets fast enough because there's not enough iron coming down the lines here, and it's not because there's not enough iron necessarily. It's just because you know we consume a lot of iron. I mean, one way you can fix that is by priority splittering it to the right. Because it eventually gets another line over here, so it's not even a problem. Alright, until you're finished. Alright, all right, guys, first first things first. Uh, well, actually, is there another research that we really want to do? Uh, I mean, uranium rounds are kind of nice. It, it's a good use for the uranium-238. Maybe we should do Corvax enrichment. Um... That seems kind of nice to do. Um, I mean, atomic bombs, we can do after, like, we're working on rocket salary or something. So, there is an artillery shell range and artillery um, shell shooting speed upgrades, but neither of them are accessible to us. Uh, maybe we'll get this last bonus, which is a uh, stack inserter capacity. Um, which also is the last one. It gives us a non-stack inserter capacity as well. Alright, so, where is my... Uh, artillery shell. There you go. I'm gonna blue this guy. That is some artillery shells. Alright. Now, artillery wagons. What do those need? Is it beside the trains? Oh, it is. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm excited now. Alright, so the way these work, as far as I know, is that each artillery shell takes up an individual slot. So we can actually do things like this, where we like just, we just borrow from each other, just so like the chests kind of fill up. Cause they will fill up. Um, all right. And now we can actually test it. Uh, fuck man, I'm so excited now. This is gonna be the best. We can also make it a remote as well to uh, automatically test it. All right, here we go. Toy wagons go. Oh shit, it's, it's going to go shoot right now. Where is it shooting? Oh shit. Oh shit, they're mad. Eat shit biters. Where is it shooting now? Oh, over there. Oh god. This is when the wall this is when the wall really kicks in right now. They're mad.
Oh, fuck, dude. Thank you. Uh, what's evolution at right now? Well, who gives a shit? It's gonna be at one. So this is this is what we do now. Uh, I, this, the, the, the sound is kind of cutting out, but yeah, we're definitely, if we didn't hit spot, uh, the spotter one now, we're definitely gonna hit it soon. But yeah, they, they summon a lot of green stuff now, so that's, that's always good. So, obviously we're not getting any, uh, any upgrades for this. There we go. Oh, uh, this is so good. Yeah, so they're obviously angry and they're having like a little neighborhood party here. I, I mean, is this a lot of resources to shoot this? Am I literally like... Am I cursing myself with this stuff? No. And maybe we're done on the explosive shells. Or maybe just done it good enough. I mean, I'm fucking satisfied with this. We can, we can even have more machines making this stuff. It's, it's more a question of do I want to spend uh, all these all these resources on artillery shells? Because it is steel. It is well coal. Who cares? Okay, let's let's just petroleum. Who cares? Coal. Who cares? Um, it's all about the steel then, because every single shell is like a bunch of steel. But that's how much I hate biters though. That's some fucking cool shit. All right, so let's try something a little bit different. Um, so there is one other thing we can do. Oops. Can't spell. Here we go. Artillery targeting remote. So I can, on the map, I can just basically go like, fuck this guy in general. No artillery with ammo in range. So he's just shooting automatically everything, so. I mean, it's, it's actually all good. Uh, where is the... It can go to stop death until an activity... Five seconds. So we don't have any other plans for him right now. He's just gonna kind of fill up his cargo. This is why we have two trains and stuff. What is the capacity for this guy? I don't actually know. But this is why we make two trains here. Yeah, but these guys are, uh, they're, they're pretty much getting shrek right now, actually. I'm just, in, I'm, I'm actually just kind of enjoying this. It's automated, too. So the way, the way it works in this game is that the artillery has a, a set range, um, and, and the range, if you manually target it, is doubled. But they're automatically targeting nests within my uh, borders, uh, the closest ones, and then my turrets will obviously take care of it. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I am kind of enjoying this though. So let's see how the pollution is doing. So as you can see, the pollution is just spreading further out, just because there's like there's nothing to stop it. Like what can we do? So we're gonna let it have it have a good time here. That is really nice, actually. This thing's a cool as shit, though. So the idea will be is that we fill it up with with ammo, and then I send it up here, and then it will shoot everything in the area, and then I just clear out everything that I possibly can, so that future expeditions will be less painful. But every time I destroy their nest, they obviously get a little bit upset about it. But the hope is that um, we're going to have enough uh, steel to... Yeah, we're probably going to have enough steel. Let's see how the furnaces are going. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're, we're probably we're probably good. Uh, except for the fact that there doesn't seem to be a lot of iron coming down the middle right now. Why is that? I mean, it's going down now. Maybe, maybe there's like a gap or something? I don't know. Why is it doing this? So, like, I, ever since this new update, it does weird things like this. Oh, that's right, because it's, um, it's six lines coming out, so it has to sacrifice them somewhere if it's all being used. But it's still good. Because as long as it's going in and not stopping here, then we don't really care. And obviously, uh, something dried up here. But it started flowing again, so... As soon as it gets more, it'll do it. Yeah, that'll, that'll happen. That's why we have a balancer, guys. And, uh, yeah, just, just trains are gonna fuck everything up. Alright, so, first problem, uh, this is not enough, uh, TNT, or explosives, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't think there's a production issue. 
I think it's just purely a copy and paste issue, so let's go do that right now. Uh, we'll just do something like this. What's the deal with this? Oh, this is how I balanced it before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just send these up this way. This is enough water, trust me. Trust me, I know all about water. Uh, let's see here. I'll just do something like that, I don't, I don't really care. Oh, we need some more stations for this. So this is this is one of the things I I, I kind of didn't quite math it out in my head. So I just figured I'd just remake it if it needed more. I just I, I don't really care. Uh, what else do we need? We need power. Uh, we also need to bring petroleum over. I don't really care about it using too much fuel, to be to be honest, because um, I will just bring more petroleum in because I have enough places for that now. Um, so I, I think it's just a maybe just a pro petroleum heavy process. In fact, I think we have enough coming in. We just don't u we don't utilize it fast enough. That's what happens here. So like light oil, heavy oil is fine. Petroleum, gas, I I can just get more of it. I don't, I don't really care. All right. Oh, whoops. I didn't do anything with this. Um, all right, so let's see what doubling our, our, our explosive production does. Uh, like literally doubled. Hopefully, hopefully that, that's all the problem. All right, you guys want to see tanks? All right, let's see some tanks. So I need to actually get myself some explosive shells. I could just do that like this. Uh, yeah, let's make like a stack of them, because I'll, I'll I'll kind of show you the basics of how it works. I mean, we could also get some flamethrowers out and some other stuff, uh, some other interesting toys. Even though I'm kind of nearing the end, end of the episode, I, I did want to kind of show you some of the toys. Maybe we'll do that next time. Maybe we will do that next time. All right. Next time we'll um, we'll play around with some of the toys. Let's see how this has actually been progressing. Uh, well, it's uh, I mean, it's trying its hardest. Let me tell you. Probably need to do something like this. Yeah, we're just gonna put a bunch of stack inserters here so it uh does it as fast as possible now. This will give us a better idea of how, how much time we have left on this guy. But hey, it's loading them. Alright, what was I gonna do? Yeah. Okay, so next time we're gonna it's gonna be a weapons episode, so we're gonna do uh, is there anything we're missing here for tech? I mean, we could get uranium rounds, but fuck that, I'm not researching that. Like, I, I will find, we'll get at some point, but, I mean, I'd, I'd, I, I think we kind of need Corvax enrichment, to be honest, because we could have nuclear fuel, guys. We could have nuclear fuel for a car. <laughs> Would you guys not want that? I mean, at some point, we also need to try and get rocket fuel, because that's, that's, rocket fuel is pretty fucking sweet for, uh, for car, for, uh, vehicles, so. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that's really cool, but it doesn't look like... I mean, landmines kind of suck, I think. Especially for my scenario. Um, we we haven't done logistic system yet. That's one something that we have to do eventually. Uh, but that's something we can do right now. Uh, yeah, the rest of this is pretty good. So, did the train actually stop shooting? Actually, now I, I ask myself this question. Uh, it's... 
Looking for something. Alright, yeah, let's try that manual targeting. Oh shit, look at this fucking shit. Oh fuck. Yeah, so you can do a lot of stuff here. What is the range on this, actually? Yeah, there's no shells in it, so I have to actually wait for it to finish killing everything. Purple death trains, man. What is it? Why does it keep going back into the other mode? I think it's because it like it keeps like having all the ammo it needs. So it's like uh, that's weird. Oh look, they're they're both shooting now. They're both having grand ult. Oh yeah, fuck that base. Ah. <laughs> uh, so they don't go fast, but they do go, and they will clear out nests. But like I said, it doesn't really solve the pollution problem because, I mean, we just we just naturally generate a lot of pollution, and there's not much we can do about that. But above all, fuck biters, I guess. I mean, this is kind of what happens when you do this. Yeah, well, definitely the spawner kills is going to go up. I'll tell you that much. I'm enjoying this a trem a tremendously right now. Oh yeah, look at him. Look at him. That's a that's a killer right there. He's just getting all the little worms and shit. Thing is, they just they don't make uh, ammunition fast enough. But I mean, that the, the the idea is it'll save up a bunch, and then I won't really have to worry about that. Probably. All right. Well, uh, so yeah. And for that matter, speaking of which, I should put these as these kinds of belts. Like, I, I actually just want to have steel chests full of this stuff. I'll see what the ammo capacity is for them later. But yeah, I mean, I've been trying to end this like for the last hour or so. Um, good times, good times. So yeah, we'll do we'll do a special weapons episode. Uh, just looking at the rest of my text, there's really not much else here. Um, that's that terribly fantastic, but. I mean, you've been watching me do this 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 laser turret strat for like the longest time, like just doing this all the time, and you're gonna see why. Oh shit! Uh, you're gonna see why I don't do it the other way. I have 46 raiders now. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that actually. I don't mind that. Um, you're gonna see why we don't do use any other the other tools that we have at our disposal. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, so take care. Goodbye. Are you done? Oh, he's actually done. Oh, right, never mind. Fuck it. I'm gonna go manually shoot. So this is the range, actually. You can actually see it. Where is uh, artillery? Oh, so, fuck that guy. There you go. I don't know how to see the range of them, though. Is there a way to see the range of your artillery shells? Oh, I see. Actually shows you kind of here. See when I when I when I when I go out this far, there's no indicate. Oh, what, what, maybe it's turret. Oh, turret coverage. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty good. That's uh, that's some good coverage right there. So, yeah, so we can just go like um. So we got two rounds in this guy right now. Wait, he has twelve shots. Why does it say two? Oh, but no, it's. Maybe more than that? I don't know. Let's just try this out. One, two... I'm just trying this out. So, both of them have them, right? Yeah, both of them have them. Oh shit, look at this. These guys get fucked up. Oh man. Can we just shoot that? Can we just shoot their them right, right now? Let's try it. Uh, I think we're gonna miss. God damn it. Travel time. That's okay, that's what the wall was made for. It's made for this exact kind of instance. And you can see how e effective the flamethrowers are actually in this in this part of the game. Uh, they were, they're just effective all the time. And the wall self repairs. So, okay, well, uh, we'll let the, we'll let these things go. I may actually make this a four, a four width train though. Um, if, if like the, like the range is kind of slow or something. I don't know. I think I would need to have more shells here, but yeah. 
Guess we'd see, wouldn't we? It was actually enough, so we're gonna leave this as is. So, peace out, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And uh, more automated biter destruction coming soon. Goodbye.